My name is Liam and I love movies and today I saw a movie with this guy. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Alright! We just saw uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and oh boy. Did it make me want a kingdom to fall on top of me? Isn't that right, Oliver? Jurassic World. I've fallen in the theatre. Yeah, Jurassic World. More like Jurassic... Turd. Fall on me. Jurassic World. I've fallen and I can't fight these dinosaurs. Jurassic World. For, for fallen franchise, really. So I didn't like the movie. I didn't either. No, no, it wasn't very good. I love that it posed many political questions, political and philosoph philosophical questions. Philosophical <laughs> questions. <laughs> and uh, that didn't really go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. It had like this constant air of like, we, we, we need to save these dinosaurs, but also like, they need to be left alone. They're a force of nature, so we can't touch them. But if we leave them to the forces of nature, they'll die, so we have to touch them. Yeah. and Which I guess is symptomatic like you like that's how things would go but there wouldn't the same side that's like this is a force of nature we should let it be wouldn't be the same side that is let's free them there'd yes. be two sides but they combine them into one the first part we both agree on was it, fun is is good is good like it's, it's not it's as scary as you'd hope that situation would be they're going into this place underwater where there may be a dinosaur but probably not yes underwater giant creatures are fucking terrifying. That is just that by is themselves, um, and the way it's displayed is—it's it, an impending threat. Yeah, but and you, they do that well. Yeah, the way they show that it's still a threat is scary. Like it doesn't make any sense um, because you have it, a sonar. It, they had a sonar. Yeah, and it deliberately um, ignores the continuity of the first Jurassic World. Are you talking about the layout of the park? Yeah, no one gives a shit. It was that that pond was in the middle of the park. Like, it didn't let out into the ocean, because that would be a terrible idea. That's a really bad idea. So whoever makes these movies, I hope they lost a lot of money. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't? Okay. It's already made so much money. Is that... But why is that? Is that because people like the first one? It could be the same thing that happened to that, that rock movie, um, Rampage. Oh, yeah, Rampage. Uh, where, um... It's gone on a Rampage. Where, <laughs> where it just made a whole lot of money um, in China. Oh, could have been. Because uh, the Chinese don't know what dinosaurs are. This is entirely new to them. <laughs> this is entirely new concept. Can we get, can we get a quote for that? An entirely new... Chinese hor- don't know what dinosaurs are. An entirely new horrifying concept to a race of people that never encountered this before. Have you, were there any dinosaurs in Chinese? No. <laughs> no. There were, there, were, there were dinosaurs in America and Europe and Africa. Alright. We're safe. <laughs> Over here. So what was really bad about the movie? Just, just, just all the humans. So like Bryce Dallas Howard and... Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I don't know who... Bryce Dallas Howard was the woman. Claire. <laughs> oh, shit. Bryce is a guy's name. It is, normally, yes. What, who would torture their child by giving them the wrong gender name? Uh, Ron Howard would. Okay. Isn't Ron Howard in jail for child molestation? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he directed the most recent Star Wars movie. He directed Solo. Oh. Which is the one that was... He's an old man that, like, even though he, he did it, clearly he got away with it. In Hollywood. One of the many... Woody Allen? Yeah, Woody Allen. Woody, I don't know how you connect him to Ron Howard. Ron Howard's an old man. Woody Allen's an old man. Ron Howard's not that old. He's 50. I don't know how old he is. I just guessed. Jurassic World. Uh, <laughs> Fallen Kingdom. Fucking impeach Ron Howard. <laughs> Can't believe they let him get away with it for this long. <laughs> So Chris Pratt was um, even worse than... I think than he, he just gave up. I think he knows that this... What, the character or the man? <laughs> uh, Chris Pratt. Okay, Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt read the script all the way through and he was like... Because yeah, his character... Sure I don't have to put any effort into this. They didn't. His character just kind of... They start the movie off and he's the only one with any... Oh, oh, fucking weed. His character is the only one who could have any real motivation for saving the dinosaurs... Because like that's that's the initial plot is like we got to save the dinosaurs even though you don't yeah um, Jeff Goldblum has the right idea where he just says like let them die because yeah. it's not even humans killing them now it's no it's literally just, just nature literally this problem will take care of itself I don't know why everyone gives but, a shit but Chris Pratt is the only one with a good motivation for saving them is that yeah. he's his got life, this, his life's work is training dinosaurs he's got this attachment to Blue yeah and that too and that is introduced but not until later. Like, he starts off and he just doesn't give a shit. 
And they play. Whereas it makes more sense for him to give a shit and Bryce Dallas Howard not to. And they they play all those clips of um him training Blue to remind you that him and Blue were friends. Yes. Because you you've forgotten by now. But also to remind the little girl. Oh, little girl. Little girl sucked. Sucked so much. Um, spoilers. I'm just gonna go into spoilers. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? She was a clone. Did you know that? Yeah, because okay, in the first movie in Jurassic Park, it's like yeah, we have the the ability to clone dinosaurs from their DNA, right? And I guess yeah, the the next logical step is why haven't we just cloned people yet? Does that mean the little girl has frog DNA? No, because they have that the, the they use frog DNA to fill in the gaps. But they but, wouldn't but did have he, any gaps. But did he put in frog DNA just for fun? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what happens, really. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna put that in there. <laughs> what was your least favorite part of the movie? When they pretended like being a clone was the worst thing on the planet, and she was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, I'm a clone." Yeah, it's like, but it doesn't actually change doesn't, anything no, about the plot. It, yeah, nothing. Well, it does that one thing. Well, yeah, that okay. Because, well, because I'm one of them. Oh. Well, let's just get to the to the <laughs> to the absolute worst part of the movie, yeah. Which is the ending. Yes, and it's just we're not gonna far out. We're not going to save the dinosaurs. Mm. So let's at, at the we're, end we're going to let them die. At the end, the activist who headed the movement of we need to save the dinosaurs by not interfering, but then interfering to make sure that they're alive. Decides, decides not to not, interfere. Not to interfere and to let the the toxic gas or the volcano like it would have just been the it volcano. would have been the volcano but, but instead, at the end gas. there's already been multiple casualties many people are dead and she just decides to kill them anyway yes but that's the right decision anyway that yes. is the correct des- yes, decision that because, was the correct decision because if, if they let them out they're not just going to be on an island anymore no. they're going to be killing humans yes like they're just going to be in the world straight up and without any problems at all so humans. they make the right decision but then a little clone girl just like press the button anyway but here's the thing, like, yeah, they'll be killing humans, but I think that what they're going for is that, um, that once the dinosaurs are let back into the world, then, like, the world will now just have dinosaurs around, well, and we'll go on living, like, we'll have, because they're still dangerous animals, right? Raptors are about as dangerous as a cheetah. Yeah, but a T-Rex... It's, it's, a, it's an elephant. And also, this isn't, like, the African jungle. No. This is just civilization. And it's going to ruin every ecosystem that we have. Dinosaurs will just kill every animal that we have there'll be no more native species you know it'll probably kill us faster just by fucking up the ecosystems than by the dinosaurs eating us yeah I have a feeling they didn't think about this too hard no they didn't because that because like the justification is the girl is a clone so she wants to save the other clones if but also like she is a member of the human species yes so the human species is now destroyed yes if the next movie is just a post apocalypse scenario where like yes society's collapsed because that idiot little shit of a kid pressed the button to let the murderous dinosaurs <laughs> out. We, we left the fate of the world We're... up to a child. A clone child. I would have punched the shit out. You've killed people, you stupid <laughs> bitch! And they, they are dead already from this. They have this catharsis thing of like the the um the, the man being eaten alive. Um, Rafe Spall, the villain. Yeah, brutally mm-hmm. killed. Yeah, brutally killed. And it's like, okay, we killed the villain. But, like, this is also a perfect demonstration of, of what, why what she just did was yeah. a terrible idea. The first death was a villain, but the dinosaurs aren't hungering for villains. <laughs> they just want to eat people. Oh, oh, can we talk about the, um, the, the, the headbutt dinosaur? That was, that was, okay, that was the best part of the movie. I, well, le- I legitimately enjoyed watching the headbutt dinosaur. Send you enjoyed it more or less than the opening scene. Less, because the, it, there was still the air of the shit in the movie. I mean, it was worse than the opening scene. Yeah. I think it was more entertaining. Yes. Just watching people go flying across the fucking screen. I guess they're technically bad people. But Chris Pratt just let that thing <laughs> loose yep. in a room of people. Just the, like, yep, yeah, I'm going to kill people the, the with one, this dinosaur. The one shot where there's just one guard and the elevator doors open behind him and then the dinosaur just turns around. That's a good shot. That's a good bit. Oh. For a bad movie. Yes. It was actually pretty well shot. I agree. There were a few, like, good shots. And, like, visually it was actually quite interesting. Like, I think the director was better than the movie. That's right. Yes, I agree. What I also have to say is that a couple of the encounters in the movie were interesting. Like, usually 
Jesus Christ. All right, so we're making a dinosaur movie. What's the problem? What's going to be the issue in this scene? A dinosaur wants to kill you, run away. Yeah. That's the first thought that comes to your mind. But, but now it's but lava this, wants to kill yeah. you and the dinosaurs are running away. Yes. That was actually interesting. The threat isn't immediately from the dinosaurs. It's from the fact that the dinosaurs are trying to live. And that completely, regardless of you, like outside of you, they're trying to survive on their own and you're just in the way. But also, the sheer chaos of that scene... Was good. Was, was good and bad. At any given moment, there were about 50 things to look at on the screen. It's like, it's a kid's movie problem. Where it's like, you don't need to have anything actually happening in a scene. Right. You just need to have lots of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Like, just shit happening. Just scared the cat away. Yeah. And... <laughs> was it better or worse than Solo? Oh, worse. Worse? Yeah. Yeah. I think I had more fun watching Jurassic World, though. No. no I enjoyed watching Jurassic World and like... Oh, Jurassic World 1. No, no, this one. No. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it more. Doesn't make it better. Because Solo, I think, was just boring. No, I... This one's way worse than Solo. It's worse. It's less, way less entertaining. Oh, no, it's way less entertaining. It's like leagues, leagues below. I don't want to watch Solo again. I'd I watch, don't want to watch this again. I'd watch a couple scenes from this again. I would, yeah, I'd watch a couple scenes from any movie again. No, but there, there are a couple scenes where I'm like, that scene is worth watching again because of how... But is that scene worth going through the whole movie again for? Probably not. But can you watch a, a whole another sitting of Solo and be satisfied? No. Well, I guess that's your fault then. <laughs> How does it compare to the first Jurassic World? It's worse. I mean, it's worse, but like, it, it, to what you, extent? You, you loved the first Jurassic World. I don't love it. You I said like it was it. The, your favourite movie of the year. I, I <laughs> never said this. You have a poster of it. You no. have little toys of Chris Pratt. And you watch them every day. You're washing the paint off of oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of one to fifteen, I don't do this. What would you what would you rate Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? It was bad. Alright, um I'm gonna give it a four out of fifteen. Jurassic Fast. Four out okay, of my ass. <laughs> Thank you for watching.